It is the top of the year, so of course it's all about planning and getting on track with our tasks. Are you looking for the perfect planner? Well, today I'm so excited because I have City Moms here to give us five tips to organizing the perfect planner. And joining me right now is Janine, who is the Chief Mom Officer at City Moms. That is the CMO, everybody. How you doing, Janine? <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you so much. I know it's January. It's a good time to like just kind kind of gut check on your goals for the year ahead yes. and making sure your organization is in check as well. Yes, and I'm excited because I love a good planner. Good. <laughs> yep. You're going to refer a good one and kind of keep us organized. So share with me, yeah. how do we stay organized for this new year? Okay, so we have seen in studies that you are 50% more likely crushing your goals if you're writing them down. Okay. So that can be either in a physical planner or if you're using, you know, your phone as a digital mm -hmm. planner as well, getting those goals down number one okay. at crushing them. So the very first tip we have is that with your goals, you want to categorize them. Okay. So that's number one, mm -hmm. getting all of those into kind of category blocks. So maybe that's home, school, business. For me right now, it's home projects, mm -hmm. it's kids, it's clients. Okay. So <laughs> categorize your goals first, but then you want to prioritize them okay. and prioritize them using this method that's called the big three. I actually brought this little post-it with me today mm. that tells you about the today's top three. So when you you can take all of those goals and then break them down into three necess necessary ones for the day. Mm -hmm. Again, more likely to actually knock those goals out. So yes. using that big three method, identify three goals you want to do every day, write them down, get them into your planner, whichever one you're using. Mm -hmm. And that that's definitely going to be really key. So that is so important because I mean, when you write out a list of things that you have to do for the day, that could be very overwhelming. Yes. And so you're saying choose the most important ones, you the ones it. you have to do that day and make sure those are checked off and you'll feel exactly. better at the end of the day. Yes, okay. exactly. And mm -hmm. Post-it has created these this noted series. Nice. So I've got a bunch of them over here yes. that are also going to be helpful in prioritizing. Mm -hmm. So things that you can use to either add into your planner mm -hmm. or that maybe you want to stick up somewhere like on your computer screen to okay. kind of keep mm -hmm. you on track. So this is a really great one that's kind of the mm -hmm. it list. Okay. They have what's cooking, this really fun menu oh, option. Fun. And then I oh, love so cute. these as well, these little oh, ones. Little ones yes. Did you see? So they're hydrate, maybe um, oh, wow. mood, kind of tracking if you're in a good mood for the day. Yes. Um, if you've moved for the day, super important as well. Oh, yes. So Stay active. These you can find at Target, at Walmart, but really oh, great so additions cute. for your planner, too. Yes. Wow. So I didn't know that, that Post it made these now. These I, are new. They <laughs> are. New. Yes, Very they're brand new. So, so yes. cute. So, second thing I want to talk about mm -hmm. is time blocking. Okay. Also going to be really, really important for you. And I've actually done that in this planner. I don't know if we can kind of zoom in and yeah. see what that looks like, but time blocking is going to be where you're actually designating a very specific hour mm -hmm. or time block of your day okay. to a specific task. So now you've categorized, mm -hmm. you've prioritized, mm -hmm. now you're doing that physical block of time for them. Okay. So for here, I've got workout, always crucial, make sure you're moving at some point in the day, right. blocking off time for that. I do, <laughs> yes. But working out, here's a few other things that we've got blocked mm -hmm. off. Mm -hmm. Another really critical thing, though, when you are blocking off time, block off some buffer time. Yes. Because you need to okay. get up and yeah. stretch your mm -hmm. legs, maybe grab some water, grab mm -hmm. a little snack. So that's where this in-between time is really going to come into play as well. Okay. And this kind of sets a routine. So you're yes. like, block it and then get used to it every day. Exactly. Before you know what to expect from the day. Okay. Exactly. Got it. So another really critical yes, thing and this then is blocking that off. this is such a planner. Well, thank it. you. Yes. Yeah, so this planner is by Live Inspired. It's one of our City Moms absolute favorites. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how many of our members now actually have this planner. Yes. And one of the things we love doing then is having some fun and feeling inspired to kind of dress it up yes. a little. So okay. one of our last things that we love to remind people is have some fun with your planner. It doesn't have to be all business all the time. Right. So if you have a hard copy, go for some colored pens like we've got out here. Yes. Maybe use some stamps okay. to kind of just stamp in there like maybe you're trying to note Spruce birthdays. Mm -hmm. um, you can apply that same thinking with your phone and use emojis mm. or okay. different mm -hmm. colored uh, different types of font. 
And then the other thing is a lot of planners, depending on who they are, many, many planners have add-in options as well okay. that you can purchase on their website. Nice. So this is a menu and groceries that you can add. This snaps right into this planner, so mm -hmm. you've kind of got that all at a glance. Yes, and what I love about it is, you know, I know that we are in such a digital world, but yes. I am very analog when it comes to tracking yeah. and writing because I like to put my hands on it. And I think sometimes we get lost in technology and it's like, okay, what are my appointments? But you made such a good right. point earlier. When you write it down, yes. it kind of sticks it to memory. It does. And yeah. I think the most critical thing that you really want to look at when you're using all of these tools is centralizing all of your things that you need to do. Finding the method that works for you, whether it's here, whether it's phone, get everything centralized yes. so it's all kind of at, at your fingertips. Yes, that's so great. Okay, I love it. And then the stamps and the color coded and just having fun. And so where can people find these items if they're looking for this post-it notes or yep. the planner? So these post-it notes you can find at Target and Walmart. Mm -hmm. And the planner we've got linked out on our website today at thecitymoms.org. This uh -huh. is by Live Inspired. You can also find her on Instagram. So, so fun. Oh, um, good. And obviously, you can pick up fun pens literally anywhere. anywhere so, yes. yeah, grab and add those to your cart. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Janine, yes. for coming in and sharing these important tips. And if you would like more information about the items that you saw today or just how to plan better, you can check out City Moms. We'll have their website listed below. And we'll be right back.